one debate that people have is who is the worst at drafting teams? You know, what well, is it? Is it the Raiders? Who is it? Uh, the Raiders are up there. You could argue maybe they would be number one, but I don't think so. I think the worst drafting team was the 2012 to 2016 Cleveland Browns. And if you look at the list of who they drafted in the first round, it's unbelievably terrible. This is said list, and somehow the draft where they had, where they drafted Trent Richardson and Brandon Whedon uh, might not have even been their worst draft, where yes, they drafted Trent Richardson third overall, that's what those numbers mean in 2012, uh, third overall, uh, who, hey, they ended up getting a first round pick out of it, that's probably the best thing you could say about this situation, obviously Richardson did not live up to the hype of being a third overall running back pick, uh, the way he would have lived up to that hype would have been really tough to begin with did not work out uh, and this is already kind of you know, maybe people might say oh it's 2012 you drafted running backs high that then back then there was already some talk about maybe you don't draft running backs this high maybe this is a mistake that, that was already uh, at least a theory that was out there Brandon Whedon uh, at pick 22, also definitely someone who he was famously, I believe, 26 years old. He was uh, very, uh, very much an older prospect. While people liked his tape, I think in hindsight we can say the main thing he did was kind of beat up on uh, you know people who were a lot younger than him. Uh, that's kind of how he was able to have some success. But in 2013, they drafted uh, Barctavius Mingo, so uh, you know a great name. Awesome name, probably not worth a sixth overall pick. Um, 2014, again, uh, another draft where they have multiple first round selections here. And this is a great draft. Like, there were a ton of really good, talented players that went in this draft. They ended up with Justin Gilbert and, of course, Johnny Football, which, you know, I'll say this. I didn't hate the Johnny Menzel draft at the time, and I still don't hate the pick now. Like, he's someone who had success in college. There's reason to believe that he could be solid. I'm not going to kill a team for taking a chance on a quarterback. I'm really not going to kill a team for taking a chance on Brandon Whedon either. I mean, those are moves that, in hindsight, seem terrible, but... I do kind of understand the logic behind why you would go after someone like Johnny Menzel. Just take a flyer, see if it works out. It really did not work out, though. Um, you know, Manziel, I mean, one of the worst football games I've ever seen was when Manziel came in with the Browns. Kyle Shanahan was there, and he just had to sort of, like, look at this team uh, in kind of dis disappointment as Manziel was just I mean, he was just unable to run the offense. That's just as simple as it gets, really. Poor Kyle Shanahan doing what he could. Um, you know, uh, moving on to 2015, they got Danny Shelton and Cameron Irving. So, okay, you know, uh, again, still not exactly what you want with two first-round picks. And then finally, Corey Coleman uh, with the 15th overall pick in 2016. I mean, we're talking about really an all-time run of miss after miss after miss. I mean, eight first-round picks in a five-year stretch, none of them really did anything above being like a, you know, at times an okay contributor. I mean, this is honestly, like, this is what you expect out of like a seventh round uh, draft selection through, uh, you know, through eight picks. It's definitely a bummer for the Cleveland Browns, you know, who even after trading Trent Richardson and getting a first round pick back still uh, missed on that one. So it's just a, a disaster for the Cleveland Browns. And, you know, if you think, hey, why were the Browns so bad for so long? This is why. Uh, this was definitely what happened. But hey, I'll say this about the Browns. The year before in 2011, they drafted Joe Thomas. And the year after in 2017, they drafted uh, Miles Garrett. Maybe those were the obvious picks at the time, but still, they at least uh, finally broke the streak in 2017 with Garrett, so there you go, but yeah, I uh, just figured this would be a fun off-season video to, you know, a, a fun NFL trivia thing to revisit, so yeah, those are my thoughts on it. What do you think? Let me know in the comments below. Always love hearing from y'all, and of course, as always, thanks for watching.